Well, he's serving a sentence for manslaughter, but doesn't deserve to be burned alive behind bars. That's a Mississippi mother's message to the Leakesville prison after learning her son nearly died under their watch. NBC 15's Nicole Fierro has details on one inmate's prison nightmare. Nicole. Greg and Kim loved ones say Tony Howard was set on fire at the Leakesville Department of Corrections facility. Now it's the same prison where twice convicted killer Michael Pretty Boy Floyd Wilson escaped from in July. To MDOC, he's inmate number 104000. To Linda and Tony Howard, that's their son, Tony Jr. I would like to see my son. We would like to see our son. Linda Howard sits at home looking at an old letter from Tony Jr. She wonders if he'll ever be able to write again after what happened to him in the Leakesville prison. It started with a rumor two weeks ago. The Howards say they heard that their son was burnt on Friday, August 3rd. They had heard somebody had gotten burnt real bad at the prison in Leakesville and they said it was our son, Tony Howard. It took days of long calls begging for information until Linda Howard finally heard that this terrifying rumor is true. Last Tuesday, her phone rang an MDOC chaplain calling. And they was wanting to set up us an appointment to come because they was losing Tony. But not even an hour later, Linda's phone rang again. The chaplain called back to cancel the meeting because Tony Jr. made a response. And that was it for two more days. Last Thursday, an MDOC investigator finally contacted Linda, confirming that another inmate was able to get gas and chemicals while working in the yard and delivering mail. He was allowed too much freedom. I would not burn a dog. Nobody deserves that. The investigator says the inmate used the chemicals and made a homemade lighter to burn Tony Jr., her boy. As far as I'm concerned, the inmates are running the facility not the staff. I, I just think they need to shut it down because it's not being ran right. And it, if you got so many death counts in one month's time and another one like to happen for this month, I mean, what else is left to say? Left speechless, concerned with so many questions unanswered. How badly is Tony Jr. suffering? How could another inmate get into their son's maximum security jail cell? And where were the prison guards? Now, Linda told me just hours ago she got a call. She could finally see her son tomorrow. He's at a burn unit in Jackson, and she has no idea what he's going to look like tomorrow when she gets to see him. We'll have an update as soon as we hear from her again. Craig and Kim. All right, thank you, Nicole. The Mississippi Department of Corrections says they're investigating the encounter between Tony Howard Jr. and Albert Wilson, the inmate who burned Tony alive.